All right, I'm finally giving in. So I'm finally going to go ahead and actually buy the XHP tune for the transmission on the Z4. And I'll explain that a little bit more here, but basically in the beginning when I was first getting into these M54 cars, so first I had my 135i and now I have this Z4. So initially, obviously I didn't start out with very much knowledge. So I thought initially with just the MHD tune from them, uh, the Stage 2 Plus, that's all I would need and my car would be good to go with H2 Plus. But that's not the case. You also have to get a transmission tune, which I didn't know for a little while when I first got the car. And I was actually trying to go about it a different way. I was trying to do the GTS tune on the transmission for a while um, through Infa. And that was, that was over the course of months and months of trying to research and trying to do it that way because it was free. But now I'm finally giving in. So I'm doing the XHP tune and it's about $475 Damn! for the seven speed DCT. So I'll show you guys the process of me doing that and basically how difficult it is, which it isn't really very difficult. You do have to go back into MHD and adjust a few things after you do the transmission tune. So I'll show you guys that as well. But yeah, let's get started. Also, I should explain why you want to do the transmission tune a little bit more. And that's because yes, the engine may be tuned to stage two plus, but the transmission is still kind of thinking that the car is fully stock. So whenever you're drag racing on the track or say just doing whatever, launching the car, uh, it's going to launch it and it's going to shift at what it thinks is safe for a stock engine. So with this, you're actually going to be able to use the full potential of the stage two plus with the transmission. So I noticed a few things when I was doing some of the local track days for drag racing that whenever I was launching the car, it wouldn't launch correctly or also it would end up short shifting. So I wasn't really getting that full potential of the engine. Uh, so that's going to prevent that and it, it's also going to reduce the times of the shift by just a little bit. So the shifts are also going to be faster. All right, so I already have my tablet out of the car here and I still have MHD pulled up, but I think the first thing that I'm going to do here, I'll make sure that I'm connected to my internet, which I am, and then go to the Play Store and download the XHP app. We'll see how slow the internet is here. All right, so just XHP. Um, let's just see what comes up with that. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. No! Is it not Android compatible? That kind of sucks. Let me look into this a little bit more. I thought it was Android compatible. Well, I had to go and run to Walmart, so another $80 later, I have a new tablet because this Amazon Fire Kindle that I was using forever, it's obviously not even meant to run on Android, but I jailbroke it and it's too old to run the new XHP app. So that's why I got this. So if any of you guys are looking for a tablet to run XHP and MHD on, uh, you can use one of these and they work really well. Uh, so I just got an eight inch because I'll show you guys my setup in there of how I mount this in a little bit. But yeah, so we're gonna be using that. Got a NOS for the boys here. Had to get that while I was there. You see, I got a Velcro here, so I'll have to put one on this one for my setup. What I'm gonna do now is just basically Boot this up, set it up, and then download all the same apps that I had on here onto here so I can get this all ready for me to use. So I'll just hang on for a sec and then we'll get back to trying to get back to the steps of downloading XHP. All right, yeah, as you can see, they only had purple left, so I guess I'm rocking purple. I have XHP and everything, all the apps that I need for this downloaded, so I'm on their website. So obviously we need to buy the license, so I'm just gonna do that. So depending on your car, you'll see it's kind of, it's pretty much self-explanatory on how you buy what you need. 
it's always better to just go for the whole package. Uh, some of you may want to choose to buy everything individually, but you end up saving more money if you buy just the package. So I'm going to do the XHP Flash Combo to buy the license and the map package. And then from here, so if you have the six speed, it's only 265, eight speed, 365, uh, Supra and G-Series, 475, eight speed, and then mine is a seven speed DCT, 475. So I'll have to do the seven speed DCT, add to cart, and then just do the payment, and I'll get the license code via email. So uh, I'll just go ahead and check out and buy it and then I'll get the email with the license number and then I'll show you guys me putting the license number into the app. All right guys, so right away it gave me the license key after I paid. It just said download license key and I copied the number. So let's see here, let's go to settings. This is my first time on this app, so uh, we're gonna learn together here. You gonna learn today. And see where I can put the license key number. I might have to actually uh, connect to the car before I can do anything. So yeah, let's go ahead and connect to the car and go from there. So we'll go over to the Z4 here and I already leave the connector plugged in. So I have the new universal orange adapter for MHD, which is supposedly, well, actually I have tested it. It works with Pro Tool. It's supposed to work with XHP and obviously MHD. It's pretty universal. So let's go ahead and step in here. So I'm just gonna put it in the accessory mode here. Like I said, the adapter's already plugged in down there. And then we'll go in here and then I'm connected to the internet, so I'll have to disconnect. It's always also really good to put your device specifically for your car in airplane mode. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change Wi-Fi settings over to the MHD connector. So just give me a second here. So here we go, MHD can, I'm gonna use that one. So it says I'm connected now. So we'll go over back to the app. We'll connect seven speed. So it's looking for the adapter. Pretty confident that's gonna connect to the MHD one. But if you didn't have an adapter, they have the choice to buy the adapter off RB Tuning. You'll just have to wait for it to ship. Oh. <laughs> well, let's see what's going on here. So it looks it's like it's still having trouble connecting to the universal one. So I spoke too soon, but I might, oh. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm gonna try to learn about this a little bit more and get back to you guys. Okay guys, so it worked. Midway through connecting to the vehicle, it asked me to connect back to the internet. So I just switched over to the Wi-Fi settings and connected back to my internet. And it found my license keys right there. So uh, it just says, congratulations, your Z4 is supported, which I already knew or else I wouldn't have bought it. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. So it already has the licenses 
downloaded or actually look at it's downloading the files right now so it, it automatically does everything for you i didn't even have to type in the license key which is really nice it just kind of aired out the first time that i was trying to connect to the vehicle which is fine it's not a big deal we're just setting everything up for the first time now so it's i understand that so i'm gonna go ahead and let this download both of the licenses which is the flash license and the mac pack so we'll wait for that to download and then i'm gonna go ahead and actually because this is what you're supposed to do uh, i'm gonna grab my jump pack and connect it to the vehicle so i don't drain my battery also you want to always do that before you tune anything on your vehicle so mhd tune or these transmission tunes so just give me a second and i'll be back all right so it has a check mark under both of these uh, licenses meaning that they're fully downloaded now so i'm gonna go ahead and click on the z4 for my cars and then if we scroll down we can see all our info here we're gonna go ahead and click this little lightning bolt and then go to flash we're gonna do stage three and kind of look take a look at stage three which removed torque limiters line pressure is increased removed automatic upshift and manual which was the issue that was giving me problems for short shifting and so super fast shifting m3 gts level revised shift maps with comfy shift points in regular and automatic mode so now launch control is set to 4000 with this stage three and then optimize kick down takeoff or proper acceleration raise downshift limits in manual last but not, not least nice upshift sounds even in drive so let's go ahead and flash that and the latest version So there we go. It's searching for the adapter to go ahead and flash the new map. So we're going all the way for stage three. And then like I told you guys, just a refresher. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to MHD to follow up on this XHP flash. So we're not done after this. Like I said, just to remind you guys, I got the jump pack connected. So it looks like it's going ahead and doing the tune now. So everything's looking good. Kind of anxious to see how this transmission tune feels after the install and how much of a difference it makes on just regular driving. I've heard a lot of really good things about it and I'm really ready for it just because I've had MHD but now I'm gonna have both MHD and XHP. The thing is that does make me a little nervous is launching at the track and continuously uh, doing digs with this car. If it f***s with the transmission a lot and pretty much just shortens the life of the transmission but we will see and that's what this car is for so it's whatever i have my other car which is the x3 for daily driving so i'm not too worried about it and nowadays you can get dtce transmissions for uh i mean they're still pretty pricey but not as much as you would think Also, a really good recommendation is to do your fluid flush and pan for your transmission before doing this, which I haven't done. <laughs> but I haven't done it because I'm waiting to get the Themes Legit Garage aluminum transmission pan, which I really want. But that's another $800 or so. 
I should be trying to look into that. Or I should be getting that soon here anyway, so... We'll see. All right, so we got a flash completed. So here we'll read this little notification here. Please let your car go to sleep for 15 seconds before turning on the ignition again. The DCT needs to reboot and realign the parking lot, which happens during ignition cycle. In rare cases, the ignition may need to be cycled two or three times before this happens and all errors are cleared. So we'll go ahead and wait those 15 seconds after we exit out of this. So go ahead and exit, turn this off. So we got that turned off. We'll wait a little while. Um, it's still in the previous menu here. But we have stage three. Uh, we can take a look and just look at what other options there are. So just stage one, two, three, backup, which is your stock map, and then flash settings for custom settings. So nothing much more. So we're done with that. Uh, I'm still going to wait a little while here, but we'll play around with uh, MHD which I don't have open. So let's go to MHD. If it lets me. So just to show you guys, and you guys are like, what the heck is this? So for my tablet and my car, I use Car Launcher Free, which is really nice because it basically leaves this screen all the time. And it's kind of a quick access to all the most important apps that you use for your car. So whenever my tablet is plugged in charging, I'll just leave it here. Well, I have a spot for it over here, which I'll show you guys because this is a new tablet. I have to put new Velcro on this tablet. But what I think I'm going to do is get a case for it. And that'll also cover up the purple. So I'm not going to put the uh, Velcro on quite yet to get my setup. But basically, I just put my tablet here and it sits upright. Uh, it works pretty well. Plus, I put a little Velcro strip here so it holds it. And uh, I don't have iDrive. I just have the storage here. And I don't plan to get iDrive, but I do plan to get the ID4 Motion cluster in the future. So... I'll be doing that, but I don't think I'm going to go for the uh, big 12-inch navigation screen. I just don't want that. I don't really feel a need for it for this car specifically. I think it's just a waste of money. However, I did end up putting one of those iDrive systems in my X3. But I think we're getting close to a minute mark now. Definitely over 15 seconds. What I'm going to do too is it said to cycle the ignition so i think i'm going to do that too i'm going to cycle the ignition a few times and then i'll come back to you guys when i'm connected to mhd all right guys so cycling the ignition definitely did help because i still had a few error codes so cycling it about three times really did help a lot so now it's back to normal how i used to see my instrument cluster every day before i even did this tune it seems back to normal so now we're going to go ahead and make sure we're still connected to MHD here. Make sure that it didn't go over to Wi-Fi or to my Wi-Fi. All right. So, yeah, it says it's still connected to the MHD adapter. Now what I'm going to do here is go back to my car launcher and now I can boot up MHD. So now what we're going to do is the final step. So I'm already on stage two plus, but I don't have the XHP option. So we're going to go ahead and do flash a MHD app. So we're going to go to the newest maps. So we're on octane and then transmission or DCT. So let's go ahead to DCT. We're going to go down to the
stage two plus, and we're gonna do 91. Uh, obviously you guys can do uh, the different types if you are doing that, but for now I'm, I'm good with 91. That's what I'm gonna be doing, so we'll go with 91. It's connecting. And then I'm going to go ahead and do options to make sure that everything is customized here. So, yeah, it's it's completely reset. So I have to do all my custom settings. Mm, I think that the, the MHD came out with an update for this app. So that's why everything got reset. So I'm going to go ahead and activate anti-lag. And then I'm going to also turn that all the way up to the max for the anti-lag. And then uh, for MHD plus controls, I want to do the anti-lag with cruise control. Or no, actually, sorry. Uh... I, have, uh, uh... I like to do the volume down button to do to activate the anti lag so i'm going to do the wheel buttons only so throttle lag is going to have to be changed as well so no throttle lag And then it did remember that I have the aftermarket downpipes. So I will leave that. I don't really mess with exhaust burble or anything like that. I think it's fine. It sounds great the way it is. And I just have a muffler delete and downpipes. And I think that's loud enough and sounds good enough. My T-MAP sensor is OEM and so are my ignition coils, so I'm not going to mess with that. And I don't have the O2 kit. I have my regular O2 sensors and I don't have an oil pressure sensor. Coolant system target is stock. No port injection, no waste gate rattle. I don't have anything like that. So everything looks good. So. Uh, I'm just going to review this a little bit more, but after this, it'll be the long right. And I'll actually flash the car with the Stage 2 Plus. But just to refresh you guys on this whole situation, because this has been a lot today. So far, we did XHP and MHD. So kind of redoing everything together. What I previously thought is that I would have to do... The map that says DTC with XHP, but apparently that's only with auto. Uh, there's really no option for DTC with XHP. So I was wrong on that. However, the only thing that seems to be messing with the transmission through this MHD tune is down here. So I'm surprised that they don't have an option here yet that says that you already did the XHP tune on your car with the DTC transmission. But all we really did was deactivate kick down switch so that we could launch the car. But we already messed with that through the transmission tune. So kind of a little bit confused on this. Not going to lie. I'm going to be honest with you guys because now it, it seems to me like the MHD tune and the XHP tune are kind of going to work against each other because if I have deactivate kick down switch here and in XHP, it's already tuned to the best of the transmission's ability for dig racing and launching and like, and all that kind of stuff. I just get a little confused on that part. And same with this like shift bog torque limit delete. Should I even click? I'm not even sure if I should check that because it's already all tuned on the transmission end. 
So what I think I'm going to do, I'm actually going to uncheck that in the transmission and just kind of leave the transmission blank because the transmission's already tuned. So I'm just going to leave all that blank and then I'm going to go ahead and write this tune and then we'll test out, we'll go on a test drive and kind of see how everything is working. So hang on a second. So like I said, I'm going to just review everything quickly off camera here quick and then we'll write the tune over to the car all right guys so everything looks good and i explained the issues that i think i'm running into and my concerns i should say i should say my concerns and right there it's going to start writing the tune over to the car but yeah i explained my concern to you guys we'll see what happens it seems to me like xhp and mhd are kind of butting heads on the DTC side of things. I've seen other people say that you have to adjust that you have XHP in MHD, but that may be just the people with the auto transmission, not the, uh, not the DTC transmission. So I guess we'll just find out for ourselves when we go for a test drive, but I'm going to let this tune right to the car and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, so the tune is done on MHD side. So we're all set with everything. Obviously, MHD tells you to wait a while and cycle the ignition. So it says wait 30 seconds, so that's what I'm waiting for. But either way, I still have to go ahead and disconnect the battery and unhook the airbag and disconnect the paddles because of the issue that I'm having. So I have to take some more steps on my end because of the issues that I'm having with these paddles. Either way, I'm only going to be using the shifter to shift. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And I still have the jump pack connected. So I'll take care of all of that and then come back, wrap everything up, and then go for the test drive. All right, boys, it is the moment of truth. So everything is put back together and ready to go. So I'm gonna mount the phone back to the back windshield or that little small windshield in the back of the car and then just give you guys a view of the drive and how much better it drives now with the tuned transmission and the updated MHD map. So let's go. Yeah, the shifts already feel super good. Here we'll have some shifts again. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man, you can already feel it. Those shifts are lightning fast. So the car's got to warm back up because it was sitting so long. So I'll try the launch control later. Let's give anti-lag a shot here. I was 
just wanting to test it out. So it's still working. I know you guys probably wanted to see a big anti-lag launch, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't really wanna get in trouble. I will do it on the track though, once I get it on. But yeah, again, like I said, the these shift changes are so, so, so much more recognizable now. Also, you can really hear the straight cut gears when you're shifting up. It's pretty awesome. I hope you guys can hear that. All right, so let's just see if the launch control works here. I'm obviously not gonna launch it, but I'm just testing it. All right, so yeah, launch control works. It's up at 4,000 for the launch. So we're all good. So I know you guys probably really wanted me to get on it, but uh, I'm saving it for Sunday. I have a track day Sunday, so I'll really get to test out everything on the track, so legally. And I did get some video clips of just, basically that drive was just to test everything out to make sure that it's actually working, not to really get on it per se. But regardless, we got everything done, everything's tuned. And I'm sorry for the bit of confusion earlier. It was my first time using the XHP app but I wanted to document my process and just me doing everything and getting this car tuned on both MHD and XHP. But hopefully you guys can follow this, especially if you have the Z4 E89 with the N54. So you can get it properly tuned and running so you can take the full potential of the engine and transmission on the car. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.